Nine in less than 24 hours, Yavapai County deputies and a DNA company in Texas raised the money they needed to fund specialized testing to try and identify this Jane Doe. Back in the day, detectives dubbed the case Little Miss Nobody. We hate that name for this little girl. They didn't girl. have much to go on. No, they didn't. So that, they may soon. Uh, this little girl was found partly buried near Wickenburg in 1960. Now investigators hope this state-of-the-art testing will finally be able to give her a name and ultimately solve her homicide. True Crime Arizona host Brianna Whitney has been working with this DNA company for months now and has a look at how this testing is going to work. It is crazy. This is really the future of forensics yeah. and criminology and I find the whole thing just fascinating. So you hear about law enforcement sending DNA to the crime lab. Well, this private lab can do so much more and was created specifically to identify perpetrators, victims, and Jane and John Doe's. They're making history, identifying victims from decades ago and in some cases can create a DNA profile from just 15 human cells. Who is Little Miss Nobody? Anytime there's a you know a young little girl that's that's uh, not named and, and has a name like Little Miss Nobody, it's like we gotta we gotta figure out who this girl is. So it was wild to me that this got funded within 24 hours, literally. That's Michael Vogan. He's the director of case management for Authram, a company that uses advanced genome sequencing technology to create comprehensive profiles of people who are unidentified. They've teamed up with the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office, raising money to use their testing on Little Miss Nobody. She's a little girl whose remains were found partially buried in 1960 in Congress, Arizona, near Wickenburg. Investigators believe she's between three and six years old. Typically, law enforcement uses their own crime lab and results get sent to a common database. That STR test is looking at DNA. It looks at about 20 markers of DNA. And when that test is concluded, the profile that they generate is uploaded to CODIS. Only 1%, like literally one, of unidentified remains get a hit in CODIS. And that's because these people weren't criminals necessarily. Right? Here's where Authram's technology changes the forensics game. So instead of looking at 20 markers of DNA, Authram, we look at tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of markers of DNA. And we build a much more robust and comprehensive uh, DNA profile from the DNA that was left at the crime scene. There hasn't been a, a platform built like this to today's date. They then create a digital copy of the profile and can use either different leads YCSO already has or forensic genealogy to try and make an identification. Once you digitize that evidence and you no longer have to worry about it deteriorating over time or getting contaminated or misplaced, um, it's not a matter of if. Uh, it's a matter of when it's going to be solved. And Even though the Little Miss Nobody case is over 60 years old, Vogan says that may not be a barrier at all. We've done cases where we've developed a good DNA profile from bones from 1881. We're getting to a point now where if you commit one crime and any DNA is left, you're not going to have a chance to do another crime. It is just so cool what they're able to do. YCSO says they needed the funding for this testing because they just don't have enough money to fund all of the cold cases they want to solve. So they put in a thousand dollars and the other four thousand needed was crowdfunded. Funded. Vogan says this is the fastest their company has ever gotten the funding they needed raised for a case they're working on in the history that they've had this company. He says the lab work on all of this will include skeletal DNA extraction and is expected to take about three months to complete. Then they'll build that digital profile. And from there, the goal is to make the match and give little Miss Nobody her proper name. Live in the studio tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family. Yeah, we're really hopeful that they'll get some answers this many years later. Brianna, thank you.